so. That's old maiden Aunt Nell. I can explain, madam. There's nothing to explain, Brent. Would you lied? You lied about everything. Almost everything. She does have great begonias. Madam, the simple truth is that as I was about to board the bus for Albany, I felt as if I was coming down with the flu. What does that have to do with Boom Boom in there? Miss Darnell is a practical nurse. Oh. Did you ever think of taking two aspirin and going to bed? Oh, yes. Manwood, Stu wonders what's holding up the herb tea. I am holding up the herb tea, Miss Darnell. I'll take it to him. I'll bring a couple cookies, will you, B.B.? Sure thing, Stu. There we are, Miss Darnell. It's funny, you call her uh, Miss Darnell and Stu calls her B.B. In time, I hope to call her B.B. <laughs> Look, Brentwood, I want you out of here and take Sister Kenny with you. I plan to have dinner here alone with my guests. But, madam, I plan to have dinner here alone with my guests. Well, too bad. We'll flip a coin. Look, Brentwood, it's my house. Madam, you lied and said you were going to be in Philadelphia. Oh, you lied and said you were going to be in Albany. I want you both out. I think Stu may have a temperature. I wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs> Do you have a thermometer, Mrs. Gallagher? Uh, there's one in Brentwood's medicine chest. You go through the door. Down I know the my way. The <laughs> what a fool I've been. Uh, BB? Uh, just a minute. I'll go, I'll go with you. <laughs> I mean, there's no use in making two trips. <laughs> uh, Nan, why don't you go in the kitchen and make some more d'oeuvres? There's a surprise in the shopping bag. <laughs> he seems to be on the road to recovery. <laughs> isn't careful. This could be her last house call. I see Mr. Mansell is a romantic. Caviar, no less. <laughs> Caviar, really? From Russia? No, Vermont. <laughs> McDonald's old-fashioned, real-style, low-cal country caviar. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Now, Brentwood, I want you and Bibi to leave as soon as they come back. Believe me, madam, we'll be out of here like the proverbial shot. <laughs> so where are they? In my bedroom. I know that. <laughs> Ma'am! Brentwood! Copy, what are you doing here? Well, the pipes froze in my apartment house. I figured I'd stay here as long as everybody was out of town. There's been a change of plans. What happened to the seminar in Philadelphia? Um, it was cancelled at the last minute. What about Albany? Uh, Brentwood's aunt Nell took sick. He's terribly worried. And she's terribly disappointed. <laughs> oh. Well, no problem. I'll just put my stuff in Gabby's room. No, Cubby, I'm afraid that won't work. Why not? Well, watch your head, Stu. Um, thank you. <laughs> Who are these people? I'm Bibi Darnell. And this is a very sick man. The old temperature's way up there, Nan. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Cubby Royce, Nan's agent. Oh, how do you do? Yeah, well, I, I, ordinarily I'd shake your hand, but you might be contagious. It's my professional opinion, Mrs. Gallagher, that Stu should be in bed. It's also my personal opinion. <laughs> Okay, okay. Cubby is leaving. Stu can have Gabby's room, and I will take care of him. That is not a good idea, madam. Why not? Because it's freezing in this house, and we all know it'll be at least Monday before the men come round to fix the furnace. My furnace is working. You can say that again. <laughs> uh, look, man, I don't want to put you out. Maybe it's better if I just leave. 
Gazonka. Thank you. You better get them out of here, Nana. We'll all be laid up. Look, just wait a minute, okay? Everybody, just wait a minute. This is my house, he is my friend, and I will decide who goes and who stays. Hi, everybody. Stu, you go. <laughs> Gabby, what are you doing here? The TV set broke at Dad's, and my father, the sports nut, kicked it and broke his ankle. That's terrible. Yeah. I knew you guys would be out of town, so I called Aunt Loretta and she picked me up at the station. She'll be here in a little while. By the way, what are you guys doing here? I'll tell you later, Gabby. Some night when we're watching Dallas together. <laughs> Stu? Yes, Nan? Uh, Stu, I have really been selfish. Oh, no. Yeah, your health is the important thing. You need attention. Oh. Thank you, Nan. Yeah. I'd be glad to handle this case. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nan, I'm sorry about the way things worked out, but I'll call you just as soon as I regain my health. Do that, Stu. Bye, Brentwood. Call me. I'll get Mr. Mansell's telephone number from Mrs. Gallagher. Your father will be at my place. <laughs> Uh, say, Nan, yeah? do you mind if I take this along? You know, feed a cold, starve a fever. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On the whole, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. <laughs> Oh, come along, madam. Let's make the best of it. Oh, you're right, Brentwood. Listen, why don't you make something absolutely fantastic for dinner for all of us? Terrific. And then we can look at my slides from Hollywood. Well, first, I'll make the ideal thing to accompany the slides. A gigantic picture of Martini. Now you're talking. Gabby, showtime! Oh. Oh. When you see Taffy the squirrel. He'll tear your heart out. Guarantee he'll tear your heart. Yeah. That's Taffy the squirrel. Lovely. That's his trainer. Looks just like Bob Eubanks. see enough of the La Brea tarpets. You guys can stop it now. Cubby's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope we haven't offended him. Of course we haven't. I was awake for at least three slides. Oh, Gabby, it's time for bed. What do you mean, bed? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. You're absolutely right. I'll go fix breakfast. Good idea. I've starved. Hi. I thought you guys might like to see the rest of my slides, you know? We all started to doze off right after the shots of the La Brea Tar Pit, so we can pick it up right from there. Watch the wire. I'd rather watch the wire than the slides. Now, here we go. Hi, that was my last day at Knott's Berry Farm. I drove away. Ah, this is Hugh O'Brien's sister's house. 